I want to just give a little story about uh, when, I, when I actually was heading uh, Silhouette Studios, uh, that was the modeling studio. We had a girl called Nina Zinyana who came second in the face of Africa, if you remember. And uh, I remember when um, you know, she was actually coming on board. She, she didn't come from a very uh, wealthy background and you know, she had a whole lot of challenges that she had to, to overcome in order to even take part. And a lot of jealousy from the environment. You know, I, I, I don't know what, what it is. You know, we, we tend to want to pull each other down. And women are very good at that. You know, we tend to want to pull each other down. You know, I, I look at her and I don't know how she's done her hair, whether it's, you know, instead of just saying, you know, I, I really love your hair and I've been looking at your hair since I walked in. Yes. <laughs> and, you know, uh, then I want to, to do something to drag you down and everything. I, I, I feel really need to leave that behind. And, uh, uh, um, you know, when I remember we had a, a, a meeting of modeling agencies then. And, uh, the biggest thing was how this girl was this and this and this. And I'm thinking, isn't our job, it doesn't matter where we've come from. It doesn't matter what our background is. It doesn't matter what sort of education is it. Isn't our job to create a person to that level? Why do we dwell on the negatives, like has been said before? Why do we dwell on people's shortcomings? Now, for these girls that are coming, you know our situations as Africans, you know it. But these girls, these kids are coming. And they're coming with, they have a dream. Each one of these girls has a dream. And it is our responsibility to create the environment for, for girls who maybe this is their only chance of creating something out of them. It is our duty not to come and say, oh, they look ugly, they what? Are you telling me that all those beauty queens if they were going to sit here, no makeup, nothing, as they are, you think you'd even think that they're beauty queens. I, I lived in London and actually bumped into stars and, 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 you know, and, and actors and singers and everything. And I'm thinking, what? Is that her? I remember bumping into Shade. I remember Shade, you know Shade, you know? And I thought, my gosh, is that her? Is that Shade really? But then, you know, she has to be made up. We all have to be given a platform. We all have to be raised up to that. But we must understand that for an image, for a person, it's both internal and external. And those two need to be congruent. When these girls come, it's to build. They've come from tough backgrounds, most of them. It's to build that internal of them. So that when they come, it's the, it's the confidence, it's the self-esteem. It's that feeling of self in understanding that I am Zimbabwean and there's nothing wrong if I was born Kumusha. There's nothing wrong if Dagakura Gichi Takura Umi. There's nothing wrong in that. In fact, that is what, and I would love one day to see a Miss Zimbabwe, maybe Asina Orokoro Chinu, you can't even speak English, but I can meet her up there in the Miss World stage. Achi Taura, and she's got, in Shona, and she's got an interpreter. In Africa. But you know, beautiful. Achi Taura, confident. But in Shona.